Uh, Darren, it would be trustee. If you go back to uh, the days of the pilgrims and Puritans, they'd had an awful big mouthful of tyrants and kings, and they had a very, very skeptical view of entrusting very much power to human beings. And so, almost in a paranoid fashion, they made what a lot of us have learned about the horizontal and vertical checks and balances. You know, the executive, legislative, and judicial uh, in terms of the federal level and then federal, local, and state. So all of these things were designed to compartmentalize power and uh, to protect uh, freedom. And uh, in one of the things that's not mentioned in that list is the role of a senator or a congressman or a legislator. And that is, is that they are to use their best judgment and to put principle over politics. And um, that is one of those forms of checks and balances. The founders were really uh, down on the idea of democracy. They despised it because they understood the danger of a rabble getting all excited about something and not knowing all the facts and going off half-cocked and doing the wrong thing. And that's why the trustee was very much central to the checks and balances system. And um, I've always uh, believed that way because of my study of the founders. A couple of examples, uh, No Child Left Behind, my President Bush, very first bill, first time in Congress. And I believe in the principle of local control of schools. And what did this do? It gave more money and more power to the bureaucrats in Washington, D.C. And I don't think we need those bureaucrats. In fact, I don't think we need the Department of Education when you get right down to it. So I voted no. <laughs> And then uh, another example would be uh, there was a Wall Street bailout. This is, a, you know, a great big deal. And uh, you don't really know for sure how all of this macroeconomics is going to come off. But, uh, and everybody was saying, all of the establishment was saying, you've got to do this or the economy is going to melt down and all that kind of stuff. My biggest contributor said, you are going to vote for this thing or I'll never talk to you again. It was one of my biggest contributors. And... Um, and I thought about the little letters I get from different widows on a little piece of pink paper with a rose that says, Congressman Aiken, I trust you. I'm leaving you $5 for my Social Security, you know. And I voted no on that thing. And that wasn't exactly the popular thing to do, and it went against my own political party. But I think you always have to put principle over politics. And I found that when you do that, people find that you're predictable and they like it because they know you're not making deals. But I think uh, Sarah makes a good point, and that is coming with this is the responsibility for us to be transparent. I've told you I'm rated the most conservative congressman in the state of Missouri. If I do anything other than conservative, you've got a big right to complain. Otherwise, don't complain at all. Thanks.